We're going to cycle record. Make sure loop is on. Turn on our metronome click. If it's a bit loud, you can adjust it here. If we want a one bar count in, click the pre button. Okay, I'm going to record some drums to this section using Redrum. Let's hit some keys. You can see that we have MIDI activity by the fact it becomes a wash in green. By default, the selected track automatically has master keyboard input. We can change that, however, by going to our preferences and under keyboards and control surfaces, down at the bottom, switch it to separated. This makes your track selection and master keyboard input separated. If you keep it separated and have another track highlighted, just click on the device icon to assign master keyboard input. Okay, now we got that straight, let's get recording. Just set our locators and hit record. Let's play in some kick. Now without stopping, click the new dub button on the transport. Now we have a brand new lane to work with. Let's put down our snare. Okay, again, without stopping, click New Dub. Let's put in our hi-hat. Okay, let's hit Stop. Now have a look in the sequencer. We can see the various note lanes we have here. We can give each lane a more appropriate name by double-clicking here. We can loop record using the alternate take function, and that mutes our previous take. Notice we can't hear a hi-hat anymore. Maybe we'll try putting in some really fast ones. Let's just keep creating some different alternate takes without stopping by clicking New Alternate. OK, stop. You can see that we have our new hi-hat line in this note lane here. But the other ones we just recorded are grayed out. By using mute clips from the edit menu, or by simply using the M key, we can choose which hi-hat line we want to be heard. By this point, we've accumulated a lot of note lanes. Once we're ready to commit to a part, we might want to consolidate all these lanes so that there's only one for the clip. Just make sure the track is highlighted and select Merge Note Lanes on Tracks. Automation is just as easy to do as it always was. Now it's just easier to keep track of, as all automation is contained on one track. Just make sure record is on and wiggle a few knobs on the redrum. And now let's try recording some automation on the Dr. Rex. Make sure the record button is on, move the octave knob, and now the mod wheel. We can now see there are new automation lanes for each of the parameters I tweaked. Also notice that the mod wheel automation, a performance controller, is embedded in the clip instead of a lane. This ensures that important stuff like sustain pedal data gets moved with the clip wherever it goes. We can access that information by double clicking on the clip and there it is on the bottom. We can record automation simultaneously on as many tracks as we'd like. So that's recording in Reason 4. In the next video, we'll show you how editing has become easier than ever.